The gene editing revolution has arrived, promising cures for terminal disease. In the past five years, you know, we've made more progress than in, in the previous 50. And new approaches to fighting climate change. We have the opportunity to fundamentally change our relationship with nature. But new genetic technologies bring with them new ethical and practical risks. Some of it could be terrifyingly threatening, like bio-warfare. What is our responsibility as scientists and doctors? It's really starting to bring out ideas around who belongs and who doesn't belong. So how should the promise of genetic technologies be balanced against the potential dangers? and who decides what risks are worth taking. Welcome back to Tech News, Tech Passes. Yeah, well, EJ, you've said it all. So we have an interesting topic for them today. And um, like I said, it's going to be scary, but at the same time, interesting. Like, well, it's going to be scary if he makes it scary. I mean, it's just, you know, evolution of technology, yeah, basically. Yeah. So today we're talking about the possibilities of the gene technology. technology. Though we know that um, um, gene DNA um, improvement, you know, has been on yeah, for a long time. People are trying to uh, make diseases go away, not even come back. Yeah. Even even the um, immunization, measles immunization, all of that, is still a part of technology, yes, you know, of vaccines, course. all those things. So basically, we're talking about the future of it, you know, if it's going, yeah, yeah, if it's going to, you know, bring us more diseases or making it better because away. the things that we're seeing on air, mm -hmm. the things we're seeing from scientists, you know, it's just crazy as how. They are making DNA strands, you know, genes. Rewriting. They are rewriting the it's stories true. about it. Yeah. They can basically build up a a human, not um, physically a human like that, because it's without a soul. Let's just but it can basically make a human, human. yeah, or clone a human from a gene. Yes, of course. And that's so crazy. So, what exactly is even gene technology mm -hmm. from people that do not actually you know? understand well mm. if you don't know what gene technology means well you're lucky you have somebody like me ah. i love to break things down ah. i love to break things down i, I love to break <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway i love to break things down for people so i'm going to break down what gene technology means well gene technology uh is described as the uh automating manipulating of dna and any mm -hmm. living organism but i'm going to break it down to a much simpler definition just imagine a pen. A pen does not have eraser. Mm. For example, I write my name is Mickey Bash. Mm. But now there is an eraser for pen. Mm. So in that Mickey, we now remove the Mickey. We now put my name is EJ Bash. Mm. Can you imagine the possibility? Mm. That is what uh, gene technology is mm. all about. <laughs> Deep, Abby. I hope that wasn't scary. Mickey, you something is. Mickey. Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> what, what sort of explanation <laughs> is that? But, but I mean, that's wisdom, right? <laughs> <laughs> say, definitely it's being able to alter dna's and you know genes so the possibilities of it is that they could actually eradicate cancer Asa, you know the, um you know coronavirus yes of course uh, ebola and all of that they could they, yeah. there may be possibilities for that but scientists um some scientists are not even sure of how long because um it could also um bring back cancer Some like even even if they go diseases, yes or no diseases because they are it's action and reaction to anything we do as a scientist there's what we call action and reaction so sometimes when you take this kind of action you're talking about the writing the, the source of human life which is DNA. Mm -hmm. not just then we have other uh, other aspect living organisms like plants but all those ones are not really the major focus but it's, we're talking more about dna the technology behind it and if you do that there are things that happen that you know, we can't foresee yet because it hasn't happened yet. So those that's what uh, some scientists are looking at and they're like, ah, should we really even uh, look into this? Mm -hmm. you know, the possibilities is, is endless, you know, because we have var var varieties or var let me say varieties yes. of angles you can dive into. We have uh, gene engineering, we have gene therapy, we mm -hmm. have gene and uh, gene testing. All these are different areas of gene technology on its own. And you know, when we start going into it, I don't think we we'll random thing section but we can just break it down for you guys yeah uh, gradually because um, looking at it from gene uh gene engineering is like for example um it's like engineering uh, plants yeah. for example like banana we can most of us may not know this probably tasted 
uh, all this kind of engineered food before banana happened. Right. I, I remember yeah. one incident that I, I think our CEO you know actually got, got a con from a mall, a superstore. Yeah. And I mean, it's that con was not a con. Yeah, it was, like, it was, she was like, what did I buy? Then she was not asking us later that, should we roast it? Maybe it'll be different. I'm like, madam, <laughs> even the cooked one. You said, why you go, why you go <laughs> mall? Why you go this? So it, now that's, that you're even talking about it, yeah. it felt really genetically mutated yeah, that, you know, they've tampered with that particular and, and corn. I mean, it's, corn. it's just crazy. That, it didn't taste like the corn. Maybe I, but I was thinking now. about it, you know, I mean, there are the different types of tomatoes. <laughs> Is it for corn? <laughs> yeah, they, I, I've been thinking about it. There are different types of t- tomatoes or yeah, tomatoes, yes. and also types of watermelon. In some parts of the countries, you could see a very, especially mango, you could see a very big mango or yes. bananas. And you're like, ah, why is this not growing in our country? So I, 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 I was thinking, okay, maybe, you know, the weather condition the affected the, the plant and, of it, and everything. But coming to think about that genetic engineering, yeah. I think it might actually Please, be some of factor. that. Yes, it might be some of that. Problem. Because I though they grow it naturally. But it's different. You but it's stuff, different. It's like yes. an anomaly. Yeah, exactly. It's just in a different. different you just look at it and be like, how come is this so big and different? And you know, mm-hmm. the only good thing about it is that when you engineer a genetic uh, structure and put some um, viral load of um, potential protein and other uh, mm-hmm. nutrition inside inside it, it helps to also increase and make the food better and you know, it helps to whoever tastes it as well it gives them some kind of yeah. extra nutrients as well that is just basically a uh, gene engineering mm-hmm. but we have gene therapy yeah as well. that one that way one is, they get one, to yeah, touch your yeah, DNA, yeah, DNA mutate it and you know part of your body you mm-hmm. like to edit maybe you, you're tired of making uh you know a fair pretty beautiful you want to like you know speaking of that you know mm-hmm. science is actually working on you know um eradicating blindness yes you know deafness gene therapy not until today did i know that mm-hmm. being deaf was mm-hmm. actually your Passed gene down. it's hereditary also yes, from your parents or from any yeah. other person down to you i didn't even know i was just yeah. thinking okay um it's <laughs> you know natural yeah. you know it's from jesus it's yeah <laughs> i mean the whole night <laughs> and Omega. No, yeah. I mean, probably they, they I mean, I, I'm just saying. So these things are genetics, and if if they are able to, you know, um, edit, it ha- edit, it, yeah, edit it, make use of this gene therapy yeah. to eradicate deafness. So two parents that are deaf, that their child could definitely be deaf. But you know, scientists are making way to look like okay in their family, in this you know line of yes. of history, and uh, one person would actually be able to hear. Yeah. So they are working on it. I think it's in Russia. They're working yeah, to Russia. to make that better. Absolutely. And also um, being blind. Now scientists they've actually done a successful mm-hmm. surgery yes. for a blind person to be able to, to see. see. But I'm just thinking that okay, maybe just this temporary mm-hmm. blindness and you know, it's just blind working. Person. It just brought it up. But I mean, they they they've worked on it and. They actually, um, they've, they've made that blindness possible. But we're still looking about at it, you know, what if she gets blind later in the future? Yeah, no, no, you know, something like that, or no, maybe what she, what she dies. Yeah, well, you know, because these yeah, things cannot be You really... may take away the blindness, it may bring something else, another deficiency. That's what yes, they understand. Yes, that's, that's it. What they know that's that like the limitation to it. The, uh, the problem they have mm-hmm, that particular. Mm-hmm. They delete uh, the problem. But, you know, deleting that, what does that do? There's no way... It causes a reaction, a chain reaction in the system mm. because even though this is the DNA we are talking about, it's like a chromosome of yeah. you know, that spins around. It's made up of I think three uh, different layers. We don't want to go into that. That's more like science. So we're, we're going to stick to more of our gist here because um, that's a different topic. Mm, uh, yes. When we, we have uh, gene, uh, what's it called gene testing, mm. and the gene testing, this is mostly, this is amazing actually. Yeah, this is mostly done uh, mostly for pregnant people. Mm-hmm. Probably they try to uh, check if there's any deficiency in the unborn child and mm-hmm. if there is you know there are two types of uh, genetic uh, uh, testing when mm-hmm. they do i think is the down syndrome and the one psychosis mm-hmm. something like that so when that is done if the child has one of those two they can use a gene testing to delete that from the child yeah PGA. now it's not even just about those pregnant people i guess yeah. or those people with down syndrome it's about you having to know the type of diseases you will yeah. get in yeah. future <laughs> you know i mean gene technology is amazing right mm-hmm. you just give your dna to somebody or to a scientist and then they process it that okay this your dna or this your gene has a possibility of having cancer in future mm-hmm. or having coronavirus mm-hmm. or having this particular disease in future mm-hmm. 
they, they get to know what type of diseases, diseases. that you are prone yeah, to in the future well. for like maybe from for some years or yes, something yeah. but that's the um the enabling enablement of gene technology yeah. gets to give you this type of diseases that you should avoid in future what you yes. should eat and what you should, should not, not eat, eat. that's, yes, that's, that's very, quite nice i want to say very interesting well, very interesting i'm sure that wasn't scary at all like i said <laughs> well, he made me to like you actually said it was scary. going to be scary but i have to just make it interesting rather. you actually said it was going to be scary yeah, i, I said it wasn't going to be scary I said, I for goodness sake scary. who's this guy you guys are enjoying this like no like, we're not enjoying, enjoying it from you yeah. basically ah, ah, from ah, you. Okay. <laughs> who are you enjoying it uh, from the most me or her let's talk about that i think that should be a anyways anyways now um apart from that you know uh, there's always the amazing thing about yeah. having this gene technology invoke but you know there are always limitations to it and boundaries like mm. like i said it's earlier crazy. on yeah. and also he said it's you know when you solve one problem what could happen. come from that what could happen after yes, that so it could it could lead to some more diseases because when when you Expected apart from all of these things we've said this yeah. gene technology can enable you put one particular gene mm. of another person or dna of, an, of somebody and then put it interlock it with another dna of something else it could be a dna of a pig or a dna of a goat or something mm. just like the one they are about to they are, they are trying to eradicate female mosquitoes yes of course. guys now this is crazy what the scientists are doing easy, right? what the scientists are doing they are mutilating um the um female mosquitoes, mosquitoes. and so when the male mosquitoes male with the female mosquitoes all the mm. <laughs> they said it's like childbirth mm. in uh, mosquitoes yeah. <laughs> so all of the females will not survive mm. if the mutilated female mosquitoes mates with the male mosquitoes, mosquitoes the female line <laughs> in that family will not just, be able to survive it's just the male mosquito. mosquito and you know the female mosquitoes are the ones that yeah. give the malaria, malaria disease and all of that so they are trying to you know eradicate yeah. or it's reduce yeah. yes reduce the high um possibility of having female mosquitoes mm -hmm. around that's so crazy how do you guys get to pierce the mosquitoes and with mosquito and then and then no, yeah, they change the dna <laughs> Jeez. Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, so you can actually change put the DNA of a human being and a and, and a, a pig together like and then they form something. something I mean I, I don't know, just like this uh what do they call a horse? Half body half half horse. Yeah, I forgot yeah, the name. No, I don't think a, it's a half no, horse something. Pegasus. Hey, it was all kinds of something things. like that it just broke up to her like, you know all the scientists now they say mm -hmm. let's experiment now so they go bring zombie or virus or or um yeah zombie yeah, actually yeah. they they bring it or, or maybe vampire what that's, are you saying? that's, that's what they were going to do with the for that's that how coronavirus came to this country we did, we did not plan for it let's not attack the guilty I mean, on course, air course, like this honestly. but <laughs> Anyways, would you be willing to accept this technology if it fully mm -hmm. comes out? Or, you know, when you have a disease or yes, something, something, would you be willing to take it yeah. out of your body? Even chemotherapy is like yeah. a gene, you know, um, technology, mm -hmm. something like that. So, I mean, let let us know in the comment section what yeah. you think about this gene technology and yes, all of that. In the meantime, in the meantime, we've come to the end of this, and it was an interesting topic for me, really. Yeah, yeah, it was. very interesting. Honestly, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. <laughs> don't, well, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, leave a comment, and also comment, follow subscribe. Us on more on <laughs> Till next time, my name is Mickey Bash with EJ. Thank you. Have a good day. Au revoir. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>